everyone, it's Molly. Today we're making an easy barbecue sauce recipe. So let's get started. Now, before we get started, I wanna note that I'm just making half of the recipe today. That's because the original recipe makes about six pints of barbecue sauce, and I don't really need that much. So I have all my ingredients laid out, and let's go. Okay, so this calls for one bottle of ketchup. I didn't take the seal off. And I'll put the recipe for you guys down below in the, descrip in the description box. So I accidentally bought ketchup that has no salt added and I didn't know they made that. So I'm going to have to add a little bit of salt to this recipe. I need a half a bottle of chili sauce. Okay. And this is not sweet chili sauce, if you say that. I need and I'm just gonna eyeball some of these ingredients. I think it'll be okay. Half a tablespoon of dried mustard. And this is a really quick recipe because even though it's a lot of ingredients, you just toss them all in a bowl, mix it up, and then put it in a mason jar or whatever you wanna store it in. Okay, so now we need brown sugar. A tablespoon of black pepper. It says freshly ground, but I think pre-ground is going to be okay for this. If you want to be extra, go ahead and do the fresh ground. Okay. And it says uh, wine vinegar. It doesn't specify whether it should be red wine or white wine vinegar. I've got a lot of red wine vinegar, so that's what I'm using. Okay, so I'm using red wine vinegar. And then lemon juice. And it says fresh lemon juice. I'm just using bottled because I'm lazy. Half a cup of bottled thick steak sauce. Whoops, I put my thumb in that. I'm curious as to what this is going to taste like. A dash of Tabasco. I like it hot, so a little bit more than a dash. An eighth of a cup of Worcestershire. Half a tablespoon of soy sauce. Dan and I are going to be grilling a lot this summer, so I'm excited to have this barbecue sauce on hand. And two tablespoons, we need a tablespoon of says salad oil. I'm just using vegetable oil. You could use olive or canola or whatever your favorite oil is. Okay, the next thing we need is a can of beer. So it's calling for a 12 ounce can of beer, so I need about six ounces and I don't drink very much, so my sister left some Samuel Adams. This is a lawn chair lager. It's supposed to be refreshing and bright. You can use whatever beer you want. It will obviously affect the flavor of the barbecue sauce, so make sure you use a beer you like. I've never had this beer, so I'm really chancing it. So I need, what did I say, six ounces? Six ounces. And I do like that. That's pretty good. Now it also calls for uh, fresh garlic, but it says to hold off on adding it, add the garlic right before you use the barbecue sauce. I'm whisking it together, and this isn't as thick as a typical barbecue sauce, so this isn't like a sticky sweet, I can already tell you, because it's definitely a lot thinner than a barbecue sauce you would see bottled up. And I'm really curious as to what this tastes like. All right, let's get Dan in here to taste this. Okay. Hey, Molly. Hey. What do we have here? Hey, Dan. I made a barbecue sauce from the Big Boy Barbecue Book. It says America's Favorite Barbecue Book. And uh, this is actually from 1963. So I was really curious as to what a barbecue sauce from 1963 tastes like. And also, we're out of barbecue sauce. So we oh, needed some perfect. Anyway. Well, yeah. yeah, we're going to be barbecuing for dinner tomorrow, so. Yeah, so you can add garlic to this if you want. I didn't put it in yet because it said not to, so let's taste it. That's actually pretty good. It's good barbecue sauce. That's really good. Mm -hmm. So, it's not terribly thick. It's a little bit thinner, and I'll get a close-up for you guys. It is, you can taste the vinegar. You can taste, it's vinegary sweet. And it has heat to it. And a little bit of heat. I love vinegar. I love vinegar. I put vinegar on my french fries. I love vinegar. 
Carolina vinegar style barbecue sauce is my favorite. So I'm actually really excited that this has that sort of vinegar flavor. And the beer, do you even taste the beer? No. So I used a pretty light tasting beer. I can't taste it. I wouldn't know there was beer in this. So obviously that will depend on what type of beer you use. But I think that this is fantastic and will go with a lot of different types of beer. Oh yeah. This will go with chicken. This will go with pork, beef. I don't know about fish. <laughs> So I'm excited to use this, Dan. We, yeah, made we, a, should, uh, we made a lot. We should barbecue, well, when we barbecue tomorrow, we should do another taste test with a meme. Oh, that's a good idea. This says, so once you mix this up, obviously put it in whatever storage container you want to use. Now it says that the recipe says you can also freeze this. Mm. So maybe I should have made the six pints and just froze it so I had barbecue sauce to use. Oh, this is going to last us for But this is a lot of barbecue sauce. Time. This is really delicious. I mean, you mm -hmm. think so? Yeah. Yeah, I think it tastes really good with beef pro scoop. Yeah, this is the beer I put in it. Try it out. Oh. No, it's not bad. No, it's actually really good. So, barbecue sauce from 1963. Who knew? It's pretty dang good. I'm looking forward to trying it on something tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, so we will grill some meat tomorrow. We'll throw this on there and we'll let you know how it tastes in action. All right. Stay tuned. Bye, everybody. Oh, well, I guess not. Okay, so here are Dan and I doing the taste test with the meat and the barbecue sauce. And so my microphone wasn't working. I didn't realize that. So here I am, like an idiot, recording this, not realizing that there's no sound being recorded. So I have to do this lovely voiceover. Anyways, uh, Dan and I tasted the barbecue sauce on some shish kebabs. We had some onion and bell pepper on there, and it was sirloin steak that we just grilled. And it was amazing. Let me tell you, this tasted amazing on the meat. So, like I said before, I think that this would be really good with chicken, beef, or pork. I don't know about fish. I'm not a big fan of fish. But, I mean, you could always try it out. But we loved it. We thought it was so good. And we thought that this barbecue sauce was just the perfect consistency. It's vinegary, sweet. And there I am, just no class, dipping right into the jar. And... Dan's just using his hands like an animal. We actually call him Danimal. But uh, there, look at that. That's attractive. Okay, anyways. Yeah, you can see my horrified look. We think that this was just amazing. It's vinegary. It's sweet. It's got a little bit of heat from it. And Dan was even saying that he would have liked a little bit more Tabasco sauce in there to make it a little bit spicier. But obviously, that's up to your preference. And I think this is a great barbecue sauce to have on hand. And you can freeze it. How great is that? You can even freeze it. So you're not stuck with jars and jars of barbecue sauce in your fridge. Freeze some and, and put it in and have save it for later. My gosh. You know, you can make a batch, you can make two batches for the whole summer. You make batches and give some away. So, yeah, this is a great barbecue sauce. I'm really impressed with it, and I'm really glad we tried out this recipe. You can see Dan and I just keep eating. We have, you know, you know, we just kept eating. That was that good. So, anyways, uh, if you guys like this content and you want to see more vintage recipes like this barbecue sauce, then please subscribe and hit the like button. I upload new content every Wednesday and sometimes on Fridays. And Dan and I are always here taste testing vintage recipes so you don't have to. Or you can decide if you want to. All right, well, I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.